now I'm going to be a little bit silent because we're going to start showing you the demo of how you can get everything from Starbucks Pro V2 on a website. So I'm going to create a test website on tastewp.com and I'm going to install Starbucks and show you around. The website is created. And we're going to upload our plugin. So we get our plugin from here. Click on download Starbucks Pro V2. This is inside the customer app uh, designed and created by the Squirrely company. You can see more about it here. So we have Peter showing you how to use the customer app. And we have ideas from Christina on how to do a full walkthrough inside the new Starbucks Pro V2. So once you reach the customer app, you go to Starbucks Pro V2. And that's where you get your product token. And that's where you also get the download link. So let's get the product token. Let's do the download and upload it. So upload plugin. We're going to go to downloads. All right. Going to install. Activate. And now we have to place our license token. So it's going to be. Uh, right, it's copied. Now I'm going to paste it and we'll activate. So now I have an author. Let's use the admin because this is the only thing that we have on the site right now. Admin, let's say Dr. Watson. famous detective instead of I am a so I could have said I am a that's that's like the basic let let me show you right here again so otherwise it's the default of <coughs> I am a and you can say I am a detective or I am an astronaut but I want to do it like this right now so I am a famous detective right uh, company right uh, author bio uh, with my pal Sherlock. All right, social text, uh, let's do, let's check Facebook and Twitter for this profile. We can fill out the others as well. Now we can click these options and we can load an image. But at the moment, I don't want to load an image for what's in our, actually let's, let's go and upload an image. Uh, just so we're clear, this is what we want to have. That's the one that we selected. Save and continue. And now we can go and look at all the themes. So there's lots of themes and every single main theme has sub themes. All of them have different subsections. So if I go and choose this one, I can click on preview. Uh, and you can see that this is the preview, so this is how it can actually look like. And I can start clicking around, and it's going to change. So click on this, click on this other one, so you get many different styles and choices. Right, so let's say that I want to use this one. I can select the theme. And I can go and work on the border. So maybe I want to do it a little bit more flashy and choose one of these colors. So I can definitely use the entire palette. Right. Let's say that I just want to keep it yellow. For the background image, I can select the brightness and I can actually move the box around. So if I want it, I can just move it here. Or of course, I can also move it everywhere actually. And I can also play with the style of the panel, so I can set the opacity. Right now I can select a different color if I want. 
So this is how I can play around with the panel until I reach my desired result. And this is what I'm going for. And now it will ask me to select where I want to place. Do I want to place this everywhere? Or do I want it just on specific uh, WordPress posts? So this this one actually detects all the, all the post types inside of your WordPress. But on this test website, this is all that I have. But if I had WooCommerce and different other plugins like membership plugins, it would have also detected the other post types. If you have a like an events directory, it could have placed the author box on events if I wanted to. But let's say that for the moment I just want to display it on posts and this is going to be the default author box. So let's click on save and finish. And now let's go and see it in action. Right, so here it is. Hey, <laughs> This is just how easy it was to create my first author box. Now I can go to the theme and I can choose a different image. So for example, I want to tweak it a little bit. So the only thing is this, this image needs to be a square <coughs> and it's a square. Now that I actually have what's in here, I will need to keep making some changes. Maybe I want it to look like this. Save changes, and now I can also go on the website. And voila, this is how easy it was. So one of the biggest changes, like the innovations of Starbucks Pro V2 is the fact that it's completely uh, simple. So simplicity has been in our minds since day one. And I think that it's like really super visual. You've seen how easy it was to select all the options, to walk through all of those panels and to go from, I, I have a boring author box to look at this new author box that I'm having. It's really cool. And of course, if you spend time, you can do more customizations as I've shown you so that you can make this look even better than ever before. Um, right. So if you decide that maybe, you know, maybe you don't like the orange, I really don't like it. Uh, maybe you decide to do it like this or stick around with the darker theme, which this is what I would actually do for Watson if it were up to me and if I were uh, Watson. And here I'm going to say with my pal or actually let's place like longer link. So So I'm placing an age ref and I'm closing it here and let's see how this changed everything. So you can now see that I can still click on the uh, social media icons and I can say finding clues together with my Paul Sherlock and this is going to take me to Sherlock's profile. So let's pretend for a while that this is Sherlock profiles. Sherlock's profile, I can definitely um, do that and click on it. So you can actually see that if you change the A color on your theme, on the WordPress theme, then you, it will definitely change here. That's why here it's, um, here it's blue and on the front end it's green, but you can still definitely do this so that you can create clickable elements for yourself. I think that this is really cool. So that's something that you can definitely start doing. And now you can also go to general settings where you will see that uh, you have the default. You have the option of where you don't want authors to show and for which authors. Uh, star is actually, if you saw the author star, this is created by our plugin. This is a default which we use to keep all of your settings from here. And the display options and if you deactivate you won't lose any data but if you toggle this one on then you will lose all the data 
from Starbucks and that's how you fully deactivate it and delete it. And whenever you need help, you can just go to how to and support and you will reach the quick start guide that has a video uh, and all the options and all the ideas of what you need to do to set up your first author bio box. So this was the, this was the full demo. Actually, no, I want to show you something else. Um, so let's go and edit, no, not the author. Let's edit the theme. And I want to change the theme so I can do that from here. And let's say highly visual and I want to select uh, blog, blogger categories. So you can see that there are many types so you can use it, this toggle here. I actually want to show you standard. So this could be the standard for Mr. Watson and has about and latest posts and also the social media profiles and the link. So if I do this, I definitely change everything and I can change the border. So maybe I want it to be orange. And now let's go back to the post. And this is how it's going to be displayed. And I need to place the, I actually need to place the image again because I've changed the theme. So I need to place the author image again. Let's do that now. Right, and that's how easy it is to actually place your own image. <laughs> that's what I've been talking about in the presentation. It's super easy to do this. And now you can see the same thing, the link, and you can go and visit his buddy, Sherlock. So you can definitely also have like bigger um, author boxes that look different. You can also go and say change theme and maybe go to modern. So I, for one, really like the modern themes think they're wonderful and there's actually a lot of customization that you can do on them as well so it all depends on how you want to show it this is like really cool like a business card sort of thing so I would definitely use them just look at this one as well it looks like a business card so if you're very business oriented you can use something like that but for example I want to use this one I can't play with saturation, opacity and everything because this is for the highly visual themes. But I can definitely play with uh, the border. So I can also change this color. And I can play with the panel. So you can see just how many styles I can actually build just for this simple author box. And of course, I can place my own hex code. So if I want, I can place my own color. So you can play with the hex. Yeah, so you can definitely play with the hex. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. So we'll definitely check it out, but you can see that you can definitely play with the hex and you can get the exact color that you want. Let's try this one for Mr. Watson, Mr. I mean Dr. Watson. So you can definitely see that it now has a modern theme and you can, my pal Sherlock, you can make this more visible from your theme, but you will also get the profiles and all the buttons. So this has been the demo for how you set it up going from way over here. Um, and by the way, it's gonna show that you've registered this is the name that TazeWP gave to the site. 
So this is the site that it's active on. And now I won't be able to install it on other websites unless I go and check this X from here so that I um, make this slot available. Right, so this is how you go from this one all the way to the front end of your website. So from customer app, you set up the plugin and then you make your license and then you go and have fun with playing, you know, playing around with author boxes until you've really hit that right spot that truly represents who you are and makes you feel like, yes, this is this is my blog, this is my world. People are gonna come here and they're gonna realize what I'm all about. So thank you very much for watching the demo.